Zet Bruinsma of the Netherlands in this field, along with Martina Rabellini and three Ukrainians. Well, we said the Ukrainians had a, a big presence in all classes, got a big presence in this final. Yeah, and we've seen them take two clean sweeps at the podium so far this week. And they do give themselves opportunities to take a few more, but I think they'll be up against it for that to happen in this race. There's the smile we're used to. Lisette Bramsma with the Dutch fans in the background. She has had a great week, Lisette Bramsma. Excellent swim in the 400 freestyle. I mean, she absolutely dominated the field and went to a six second world record. That was phenomenal. It's Martina Rabellini. She was the bronze medalist in that 400 freestyle earlier in the week. And next to her, in lane number three, the winner of the 100 backstroke, Katrina Kachuk. There is the European record holder, Lizette Brownsma. Is another world record going to be hers today? Marina Padovna, what a swim she had in the 50 freestyle to take gold in a world record time. And Jana Bereshna from Ukraine completes the lineup in lane six. Watch out for her on the breaststroke. There is Lizette Brownsma. Dutch swimmer. Just wonder if another world record is going to be hers today. The 17-year-old Dutch swimmer. There's Rabellini. Great swim in the 400 freestyle. I know she'll have the stamina. Lisette Brownsma in that centre lane. Well, she will be favourite. The yeah, she got away. The great reaction to the gun. Off she's up into her stroke. She'll know that she'll want to get ahead on this butterfly because Patrick in lane three, the backstroke champion, last night will be looking to come back at her down that second length. Well, Patrick with that red cap. Just with a little tussle for third place there, but Bramsma, a very, very good start. And the informed Padovna right up beside Lisette Bramsma. Padovna just going over that lane rope there. I think everything's okay as they get into the turn. Bramsma takes. Uh, in 35.52. Padovna going well though. We saw her have a good swim also in the backstroke, Padovna. So she might challenge Brownsma. Nearly stages Brownsma right under that yellow lane rope on her right hand. Yeah, Padovna on the left, Brownsma on the right. They're just they're as far away from each other as they could possibly be. And we just saw there Padovna take a little knock on that lane rope. That's the biggest challenge for these S11 swimmers is to get that direction correct without getting tangled into the rope. No, well, Padovna has been on fire this week between herself and Lizette Brownsma. We see two world records from those two swimmers. And Padovna has got a big lead here over Lizette Brownsma. Brownsma gets over OK on the breaststroke. And a very good push off the wall for Brownsma and bringing her back into contention here. But Padovna is also quite a decent freestyler as well. So Lizette Brownsma will have to get a little bit of a lead over the Ukrainian. And Brownsma really going to the left of the lane there. I'm sure Padovna will be able to feel her. Yeah, and on breaststroke, there's always a risk that your leg will go under the lane rope there and kick the other athletes as so they're trying to avoid that. And now we can see Brozna struggling a bit here to get her direction right. She's back off into the middle of the lane. She's a very good athlete for actually swimming down the middle of the lane without having to touch the lane rope, which is odd for the, for the S11s. They tend to prefer to be against the lane rope, but there we see she taps now. Great turn and onto the freestyle leg, kicking for home. Well, if she can keep her direction okay, Lizette Brownsma is a firm favourite here. Look at that power. Oh, banging down that lane rope here. And that can be the only danger to Lizette Brownsma. She's ahead of Padovna now. And Brownsma is going for home here. But Padovna, well, she's got no answer to this young Netherlands swimmer. Lizette Brownsma from the Netherlands now into the last 15 metres. It is another excellent swim from this great swimmer from the Netherlands. And the world record might be under threat here for Brownsma. It's very close. And it's inside. It's 246.58. And Lizette Brownsma with that blistering 50 freestyle, has claimed another world record here in Dublin. Well, Bronsma is on fire this week. She's always smiling, 
but now she's got something extra to smile about. And she'll know that in the future, she can take even more of that time because she did really struggle tonight with keeping in a straight line. She bounced off those lane ropes, but there we go. There's that smile. What a swim from Browns. But pushed all the way in the early stages by Padumna. Well, Brosma did lead in the butterfly, but Dubna came back really, really strongly in the middle part of that race. And it was a little bit of a battle with the lane ropes for Blissette Brownsma for a large part of that race. The freestyle, she came out of the freestyle. It had to be a fast 50 metres if she was to challenge the world record previously held by Mary Fisher of New Zealand. Blissette Brownsma did such a superb job in that final 50. A great final split for her. And she was inside the world record time by almost half a second then. Complete joy for Lisette Brownsma. She's the European champion in a new world record time. Lisette Brownsma takes the gold. It's another world record swim for the great Netherlands swimmer. Marina Padovna and Jana Bradeshna, the silver and bronze for you.